What's up, world? It's your boy Iconic, back again with another video. And today we over at Zay House, man. I got a, a new unboxing in. I ain't gonna waste no time. You'll see the title. We're gonna get straight into it. Pass me that box, bro. Straight from Nike, you know how it go. Yes, they still giving us the garbage. Uh, Nike box, man, you know. At this point, I realize they don't care about their consumers or what they say, so you know, hey, I'm, you know, on the box. Hope everybody been doing well, man. Just to give y'all a heads up, this will be the last shoe unboxing for a while. I'm gonna focus on just doing tutorials and how-tos for photography. Talk about the things on how I got started in the vlogging. We're gonna go ahead and get straight into it. We'll open up the box and automatically you see that, that peach box right here. Don't waste no time, go ahead and take that out of the box. Y'all already saw the title. And this package reads, Nike Air Fear of God 1, all the way Black Black Fossil, Noor Fossil, and Noor. He's there retail at 190 and was a size 11. Personal pair, hopefully if they fit. If they don't fit, then it's on to the next thing. I did try something different, man. I didn't use my PayPal this time. I just used my credit card and um, I went a size up. So you know that, that works. So. I don't know if they just had extra pairs or maybe that worked. I'm trying to try something new. So hopefully I can go for the SB uh, Laker to, Lakers to Chicago this Friday and hit on those with that new method. You know, we'll see Friday if it say got them. That mean, you know, that mean we, you know, we successful with the new method. So, um, man, that's a lot of paper. That's a lot of paper, man. Lorenzo got it wrapped up, man. I know on the sneakers app as well, they have something about the um, sneaker cam for those Paris to... Tokyo, no, New York. Paris to New York, Air Jordan 1s. That was a letdown, no luck on those. But I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a review. Y'all ain't here to talk about that. And you got, boom, the Air Fear God Raid. Give y'all a round view. Let me come up a little bit closer, give y'all a round view. Make sure that thing ain't too blown out. Round view, round view. And it's nothing too crazy because they all black, so I don't see anything too crazy about it. Um, off rip, biggest thing you're gonna see is that Air Max 180 bottom right here. Hopefully it focus, focus, focus. And that thing. So Air Max 180 bottom right here. If you move your way up, it has a small, uh, soft suede around it. That's dope. Um, you got that black Nike check right here. Let's see if it focuses. So you got that Nike check right here, and that is actually like, no, it's not leather. Suede. Yes, it's suede as well. I thought it would be leather, but it's suede as well. My new buck. Yeah, it's suede and new buck on that as well. So you got a Nike check on this side right here. Hopefully it focus, focus. Nike check right here on this side, Nike check on that side. You do have your straps right here on both ends. And this does uh, just pay homage to the Nike Air Raid. So this is how they look without the, this is how they look without the uh, actual straps on it right here. Again, you have this kind of like cross mechanism right here. Oh, and it's dope because they have it in place. Man, that is a A1 move. Usually when you have like these straps, they're all loose and by themselves. Just as you can see right here, right? I unlaced it. I unlaced it and usually when you got like the rays or like your edge on eights. Oh shit! So it's Velcro. Oh that's crazy. So I didn't see anybody talk about this, but it's a Velcro right here. So you know usually it's very loose and you um it's Velcro all the way across. You can unstrap, you can unstrap it. Yeah. And you can like you can keep it hanging and let it hang like this. Usually with like retro ace and stuff, it's all loose. With the rays, it's all loose, but they have like Velcro on it. That way you can stitch them, uh, where you can like stick them all together. So that's a mad good touch on that, man. That's dope, that's dope. Right here, you do have that Fear of God brand. And hopefully it focuses. You got that Fear of God brand right there. You got your Fear of God right here on the 180 Air Max unit. Um, again, you have this waffle bottom right here, which is pretty dope. I know this is good for your everyday wear. Um, I've never tried on any Fear of Gods, so you know, we're gonna see how that works out. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the insole. These things go though. Here's the insole as well. You got that. Oh, man, not right here, you got the Fear of God branding right here. Um, and that's pretty it, man. Nothing crazy. Like I said, here's the box. 
Came with that uh, quality control sticker in it, orange box. Color code on this thing was AT8087002. Size 11 in men's, uh, 12 and a half in women's. Rope laces right here, if you can see it. Nice little lacing system. Again, I like that it has that Velcro, uh, that Velcro joint right here, that way you can stick it on there because I, usually getting shoes like this is such a hassle to keep the little straps these little tight. straps tight or it just in place. Like, I hate them dangling all over the place and this is dope that it's like this. I ain't gonna lie, the reason I really high key on these cause I seen Tiana Taylor with them joints and she, she smashed them No, page, bro, bro, can we not start this, bro? Can we bro, not start this? Page, can you not, can, we always debating about who. I got a picture on your porch at the moment. So That's fine, like, that don't mean nothing. With it, babe. That, nah, I don't know about that. But if we get right up here, man, as you can see, it does have this kind of like, what would I say? It has this like, uh, the stitching on the toe box right here. Hopefully you can see it, man, because my face is steady coming out. Yeah, some dope sure. look, yeah, it's dope. It's like nylon. You guys, yeah, nylon actually. It's nylon right here with some inner lining stitching right here. Hopefully you can see that. Nike Air right here on the back. Yeah, man, I think it's a dope touch, man. You got the clear um, 180 unit. Now, the moccasins I wasn't a big fan of. I felt like I could, I personally couldn't get jiggy with the moccasins. But these, man, these look pretty dope. But I gotta try them on to see, you know, see what I can do with it. Um, it does look like a challenger shoe to put on. Sure, but you, yeah, but um, this is the left shoe. Let me see the right shoe. Here's the right shoe. Um, it does come with some extra laces right here. I think, personally, usually I would wear all black with something like this, but I think these laces will make this pop. I think these will make it pop a little bit more, make them look good. I haven't seen anybody pull these off. Actual bottom, you do see that waffle, waffle, pattern right here with that white, not even white, but clear um, air unit right here. Again, I think the shoe is dope. I did want the um, the original Fair Gods, but you know how that went, man. Nike ain't show me no love. They ain't mentioned, they, they showed the kids some love with this, so man, I don't know. They keep re-releasing this, so you know, if you want these right now at 230, 240, I would go for them. Like, you're not spending a whole lot of crazy money. I'm trying to see. Now they don't look long at all for it to be a size 11. I'm a 10 and a half. They look, they look decent. But I gotta put it on that feet, that foot that hurt real bad. So anytime you try on some shoes, dog, make sure you put it on that foot that you know be giving you that problem. Cause we all got that foot or that big toe that hurt on somebody's foot. You gotta check it out, man. Zay, what you think? What's your like problem? Think they decent? Yeah, cause I mean, if you can't fit them, they coming home with me. But yeah, man. Thank y'all for watching, man. This is a quick. Unboxing quick review, man. I'm not, this one's kind of like, eh, because I've been doing a lot of this stuff, man. I want to kind of push forward and try something different. If I do hit on those, uh, well, when I hit, I'm gonna put it in the earth. Once I hit on those uh, Nike SB Lakers, uh, Chicago Laker joints, then I'm gonna go ahead and do a review, and I'm gonna promise y'all that. If I hit, I'm gonna do that. Oh, before I go, another one. Yes, they came in, hot X boys around here. Yeah. Everybody got something to say about StockX, man, but we ain't we ain't complaining. We 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 verify our pairs. Everybody an expert now, man, but boom! You already know it. Got the pair right here, straight in from StockX. These fake y'all, y'all tell me what y'all think. They fake. <laughs> they fake. Yeah. Y'all gonna say, y'all gonna say, yeah, <laughs> just cuz, you know what I mean? Cuz it's stock X, so I guess they fake, you know what I mean? But y'all tell me, man, if you had to pick the Fear Gods, bro. or if you had to pick the Travis Scott's, which one would it be? Some people don't like these, bro. The Travis Scott's all day. Uh, yeah, you know, we picking that, but a lot of people would pick this over this. A lot of people don't like, well, or, or maybe they just salty. <laughs> yeah, the most people can afford them. Yeah, so. We not gonna be stressing about that over here, man. Y'all tell me what y'all think about these two pickups. Yes, mine came in. Go watch my detailed review on my page of the Travis Scott's. I also picked up some merch. I did a very detailed review of the Travis Scott. So we not gonna stay in that too long. Just wanna let y'all know I did get that pickup from StockX. If you see any uh, body selling their uh, pairs with that StockX tag and it's removed, that mean they're fake, dog. They're foo foo. StockX always had their shit tied to the shoe. Ain't no way you get a DS shoe from StockX and the tags not on it. Foo foo, figure like legit boys around here, man. I gotta, I can't believe it's butter up here. It is so buttery, bro. It's crazy, but you know what I mean? Hard work pay off, man. 
weighted, but again, man, y'all tell me what y'all think about these. I think it's a dope shoe. I'm gonna try these on. <laughs> see how it go. Hopefully they fit so I can rock these joints. But y'all let me know below what y'all think, man. Let me know what y'all think about these. I'll show y'all a picture of the sad face. <laughs> is, it a, is it a cop? Is it a drop? Did anybody else hit? Y'all tell me in the comments that y'all hit, man. I think it's a beautiful shoe. Um, it, the, the pictures online don't do it no justice. This looks like a great shoe, but I do like it. I wish I could have hit on the other fair guys, the actual original ones. But uh, the Raid might be a good uh, secondary prize piece. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also hit the notification bell to stay in tune. You know how I get down over here. The future belongs to those who prepare today. Got the kicks. And I'm out.